Hey what's up guys, it's been a while since I've uploaded any new videos and the reason for that has actually been that recently I've been a bit more focused on working on some other projects so I haven't really been giving as much time to videos and stuff like that but I've been getting messages from some people who have been making requests for some videos from me and I feel really bad letting down people who take the time to actually watch these videos that I make and it, I also feel like a great sense of joy from people who actually watch these videos so I'm going to try and take some time now and going forward to make more content to upload onto my YouTube channel to put out there for people to watch. So this video I'll actually be talking about something that someone requested me to talk about earlier on which is with regards to what you do on your first day on like actually teaching on Jet. And let me first talk about the fact like what happens when you just come to your prefecture possibly. So for me in particular, when we just came to the city that we that I teach in, we actually, well most people had to dress up in a suit and stuff because they were meeting people from the Board of Education or maybe the mayor in their city. But for in Omaro, we didn't need to dress up. We just came in our normal casual clothes and all we did was get settled into our apartments and do some little small shopping. So I think for many people, when they first come to the city that they'll be teaching in, they'll maybe meet some people, uh, they'll get introduced to like maybe the Board of Education, the mayor, people like that, and you'll also get settled into your apartment and maybe do some general basic shopping for things you might need in the house. Uh, so think about certain things that you'd need and keep in mind that certain products in Japan are different. So give a little thought to that. Maybe when you go shopping just the first day, just shop for some things that you need to just take you over for a couple of days or maybe a week because you're going to go back when you get settled in and over time, you learn about the things that you really want to get you going. Now, with regards to actually going to your school, for me, um, first I had to go and get introduced to my supervisor at school and also meet a couple of the teachers to say you know hi I'm Mark I'm going to be the new LT who will be teaching at this school and that's just pretty basic nothing big right there but as for my first day actually on the job like not me introducing myself but actually starting to quote unquote teach the problem is that when you, for those of us who come over in July, we're coming over right in the middle of summer vacation. So there are no actual classes happening. There are club activities that are happening. So you'll see kids around and they're going to their club activities for like different sports or brass band and stuff like that. So you'll see your students there, but you won't have actual classes. Chances are you won't have actual classes. And for me, the first day that I had on the job, I went to my junior high school and the vice principal, he was there and he told me, you know, the kids are on summer, <clears throat> sorry, the kids are on summer vacation now and nothing's really happening. So get comfortable and maybe read a comic or do something. After which he proceeded to kick back in his chair and read a mango. It was very entertaining. That's one of the first memories I have of him. He's a really cool guy. And so when you go on your first day, you'll maybe spend time either getting familiar with the school, like walking around, getting to know the campus, um, possibly starting to work on your English board. If you're the type of person who likes to lay out plans well, start working on some lesson plans for the kids. Maybe get to know some of your teachers a little bit. A lot of them might be reluctant to speak with you at first and it'll take time for them to warm up to you and be like, okay, I can talk to this new guy or a girl and really get to know them. Um, as for when classes actually start, summer vacations over and classes actually start, you will, well if you're like me and you have no prior teaching experience, you'll most likely feel a bit awkward at first and not sure what you should do. I know my first couple of classes at my elementary school were a complete failure, they were so bad, but the, the kids have been great and the teachers were great, they understood that it's something new for me and they, they were very open to trying to help me settle in. This might not be the case for everyone. I know some people get like some hard ass teachers to work with and try to not make it get to you. Just do the best that you can. Um, but for the first couple of weeks, I had to do some Jiko Shokai, which is self introductions. So for my self introductions, what I did, I had brought from Jamaica 
I brought a Jamaican flag, uh, a picture book that has like pictures of various places in Jamaica, and I did a PowerPoint presentation at my junior high school. My elementary school didn't have like a projector or a huge screen TV set up. So for them, I had to just use paper and just do something more basic. But for my junior high school, I had created a PowerPoint presentation and in it I had pictures of me and my friends, my family, uh, my dogs back in Jamaica. They found it very interesting that my dogs had Japanese names, Duku and Kasumi. And also I showed them some ways that Japanese culture events have been happening in Jamaica. So like we have Anime Nation, there are like some music performances that happen. And I remember there was also that celebration when we just came over last year celebrating the good relations between Japan and Jamaica for 50 years, if I recall properly. Um, and after that, I had also did, oh, I also showed them some of my videos from my vlog and they found those really entertaining. And what did I do? At the end, after everything, I played a Madubatsu game, true or false game. So I gave them a sentence such as I like coffee or I like sushi or something like that. I split them into teams and I made them try to guess if it's true or false. And that was pretty cool. They had a lot of fun with that. Uh, something very important to try and do if you're going to do a game like that is to remember to try and bring a certain level of energy to it. So for most of the kids, like some of the kids will always be kind of standoffish, but for most of the kids, if you bring a certain level of energy or genki as we call it, they'll, they'll be more likely to get into what you're doing and be like, okay, let me try to do this because this seems very fun. My teacher is having fun doing this. Maybe it'll also be fun for me. I don't know. I always try to bring a certain level of energy, but everyone is different. Everyone has their own teaching style. I don't know if I'd call whatever I do a teaching style, but I just try to have fun with the kids and make them as interested in the lesson as I can. And... After your self-introduction time period is over, which by the way will vary. For me, I had a whole class dedicated to doing self-introductions, but for some people, it will be more like five minutes or maybe half the class or something. You might not get the whole class. It will vary, so you'll have to learn how to adjust the length of your self-introduction based on what your JTE, your Japanese teacher of English, wants you to do. And what else, right, after the self-introductions were finished, what, like we started to do actual lessons. So my elementary school, we have a textbook that we use there, and I would normally go through the textbook, look on the current lesson, like where we're at in the textbook, and think of a lesson plan, like what I can do in the class to help teach the students this particular topic. And at elementary school especially, I try to use games because it goes over really well with the kids. And the teachers at elementary school vary. You are more likely to be in charge at elementary school, like take charge and stuff like that. Um, one of my teachers, he prefers to take charge, which I don't mind at all. And I just support him and try to help him to bring across the lesson as best as I can. Um, for junior high school, it is way more likely that you will take, <clears throat> you'll be like, more you'll officially be more of an assistant teacher there and the Japanese teacher of English will take greater charge and it also varies like I've had some JTEs who have just used me to just like repeat certain things to the class I've also had some JTEs who made me more central like made me think of games to play with the students or stuff like that at my junior high school I also teach a special needs group so it's these three kids and they aren't in the normal English class. And with them, it just like you take more of an almost elementary school approach with them, depending on the kids. Like for my kids, they're still pretty smart. Like they, they're really good. They just have trouble memorizing certain things. And so I still teach them like certain basic things that I'd maybe teach at elementary school but I don't really go into grammar and stuff like that so much like in with the other junior high school classes. And yeah, that's roughly it. Um, when you come over, try to get as much information as you can from your predecessor, especially if you have no prior teaching experience, it will help you a lot. 
uh, speak with your supervisor try to get to know the teaching style of your JTE because that will help you to know how you should prepare yourself for your coming lessons and depending on how your JTE teaches or how they want to use you in the class that will affect like how you proceed through those classes right and I think that's mostly it for now with regards to what you do on your first day and stuff if you're it's going to be rough at first most likely especially teaching these kids that you know it's a different language entirely if your Japanese sucks like mine you'll have certain challenges but you will make it through a lot of these kids generally they're very open to wanting to associate with you if you also show that you're willing to associate with them and like have nice interactions with them they're normally very very open and they're really good kids so just do your best stay positive bring your energy to the class make them feel like you know you care about like even if you don't care that much about like the whole english thing show that you care about them and when they see that you care about them and them wanting to improve and get better and learn they will try to put in more effort to wanting to learn and pay more attention in your class and give the best that they can so that's it for now i will try from now on to be a bit more consistent with trying to upload. I know I've said this many times before. It's like, it's awful. It's awful. It's so bad. But I'm really glad for all you guys that uh, take the time to watch my videos and who take the time to send me questions and requests. And I will keep trying to do my best to keep up with you guys. So keep sending those questions in. Thanks for all your comments and everything. And until next time, see you around.